Hello people, it's Gonicked and welcome back to another episode of Goni Vlog. So, as you all know, Christmas is getting closer, so I decided to make a special Goni Vlog episode just for you guys where, you know, I'll be getting uh, in into the Christmas mood by decorating the Christmas tree over here and also uh, making a special and very uh, famous uh, Greek Christmas recipe. So uh, I hope you'll enjoy this and uh, yeah, without further ado, let's get into it. There we are. As you can see, I have dressed accordingly by putting my oversized Christmas sweater on. Well, that's the closest thing I have to a Christmas sweater, so um, I guess we'll, we'll live with it. And here is our Christmas tree. Pretty basic. Now, the first thing that we have to do before we actually start decorating it is to open its branches so as to increase its volume. Thankfully, I've already done that, so we won't have to deal with it. Now, the first thing that we'll place are the ornaments. So, let's start with it. Alright, so here we are in the glorious kitchen, which we have also decorated, as you can see, accordingly. It's pretty much everybody's favorite place of the house, isn't it? At least it is for me, so uh, yeah, I don't know. Uh, so yeah, let's, uh, let's make some uh, cookies. So one thing to note here, if you guys want to make this recipe for yourselves, I've actually gone ahead and... Uh, uh, published it down in the description. I've also created a little printable paper right here. It's very good as you can see. Um, yeah, it, has all, it also has color but my printer only prints in uh, grayscale so uh, so I highly recommend trying out this recipe especially for Christmas. So let's begin. We have our ingredients right here. I have measured them all so we don't have to do it later. Let's start. So, um, as the recipe says, the first thing that we we're gonna do is uh, mix all of the liquid ingredients. So, first of all, I'm adding the seed oil, two cups of that. Make sure it all goes in there. And then we're gonna add our beer, half a cup of beer added our beer. Let's uh, also add the last two liquid ingredients. We have some orangeade right here, four tablespoons to be exact, and also four tablespoons of liqueur. We want some alcohol 
you know, good is alcohol is good anyway, isn't it? So once we've added all those, we're going to hit and give them a little mix, make sure they are as combined as possible. So I've brought the mixture to a point where it is now homogeneous. We're going to begin adding our dry ingredients. First of all, I'm going to add our aromatics. Here I have some ground clove, which I'm going to add in. Some ground cinnamon also goes in. Let's mix those two first. Because they are the ones that give all the aroma to this recipe. And trust me, it's going to smell amazing. And now that we've added that, we can go ahead and first we're going to add the sugar. We have here half a cup of sugar. So goes in. Let's mix that. So make sure that it's saturated all throughout. And I don't think we don't see any more sugar crystals, which is good. And finally, last two things. We have our baking uh, powder, which we're going to add into our flour right here. And then we're gonna start. We're gonna start adding the uh, flour with the baking powder. But before we do that, we're gonna set our whisk aside. We won't need it anymore. We're gonna pull up our sleeves because we're gonna use our hands from here on out to mix this. So slowly add the uh, flour. Let's add about half of it and see what it does. So our dough is now ready and uh, now I'll start shaping uh, the cookies into their shape before I put them into the oven. So let's do that now. Alright, so the cookies are now shaped as you can see right here, turned out pretty good. And now it's time to put them into the oven for about 40 minutes. This is a 200 degrees Celsius preheated oven. If you're using Fahrenheit, that's uh, 392 degrees Fahrenheit. So we're gonna put them in, and while they're baking, we're gonna start making the syrup. So let's go do that. Okay, so now our cookies are in the oven and baking. Uh, make sure to uh, remember what time you put them in, so you know roughly when to uh, take them out. So now we're going to start making our syrup and things are extremely straightforward here. We have a pot, three cups of sugar right here and three cups of water. So I'm going to turn on the stove right here on high heat. Let's add the sugar in. Equal parts sugar and water to make some nice thick syrup to cover your uh, cookies with so now we're gonna mix until the sugar is dissolved you don't even need a whisk for this just use a spoon and mix it up until all the sugar is dissolved and we're gonna keep mixing it until it comes to a boil at which point we're gonna turn the heat down just to keep it warm until the um, cookies are ready and we can then dip them inside the syrup Alright, so the cookies have now been baked and I will now begin to add them into the hot syrup. So just like that, put them in, make sure they get soaked well. You can put multiple at a time, just make sure they absorb as much syrup as possible, wait for a few seconds. And then you can take them out and leave them on a the surface. Cool. This is what I'm gonna do with the rest as well. So I will come back to you when uh, all of the cookies have been dipped in the syrup. Okay, so now that our cookies are nice and syrupy, we're gonna start decorating them. So. 
using a spatula we're gonna retreat them from the syrupy bath uh, and also make sure to use your favorite um, Christmas themed platter for this so the most traditional way of decoration is of course honey I mean that's half of the Quickies' name after all we're gonna take some uh, crushed nuts and we're gonna spread some nuts all over the top so that's the traditional way to uh, decorate your cookies but another way what I've done over here is I melted some dark chocolate over uh, boiling water so you can just take it and just pour it on top and spread it like that and that way you'll make your cookies taste like chocolate all right so i hope you enjoyed this recipe um I, I, I hope that uh, it's interesting enough uh, for you to try it yourself. If you do try it yourself, make sure to send me uh, a picture of the end result and tell me how it tasted. Uh, but uh, yeah, um, I think uh, that's, that's it for now. And uh, yeah, enjoy. Thank you very much. All right, so I hope you enjoyed this special episode of Goni Vlog, guys. Uh, as always, make sure to leave your comments, uh, tell me what you th what you think about it, and uh, I just I hope that you you all have uh, some great time with your loved ones and your family during Christmas, and uh, yeah, um, that's all for me for now. Uh, I'll see you next time. Take care, and as always, see ya.